This is a snapshot, a moment, a sneak inside the minds of our graduates. This is season one, class of 2020. I'm Rosie, my name is Rosie Gallagher. I'm from Aberdeen. I studied English and Scottish literature. If I'm being like really honest, some days I feel like scared shitless, like I don't know what I'm doing. And then other days I'm like, it's fine. Like if I have a day where I get an email that seems particularly productive or if I have, um, if a company responds to me or I send off a job application that I think was like really strong and solid. Like I kind of go to bed and I'm like, wow, everything's going to be fine. And then other days when things haven't happened for a while or I feel like, I don't know, when it, but I feel like I'm late on my own life. <laughs> Those are the days that I'm like, oh, like when are things going to start happening? But yeah, I think from everything I've heard, from everyone else, the first year after you graduate is meant to be scary, even if you have a job. So that's that's where I'm at right now. I think everyone was kind of taken by surprise with the COVID situation. I remember when we decided to terminate the lease on the flat, the current chat around that time was that the whole lockdown would last two months. And obviously it lasted a lot longer than that. And at that point, none of us thought our graduations would be cancelled. But um, yeah, went home and finished the dissertation from my childhood bedroom. And yeah, it was it was definitely a bit of an anticlimax to the end of uni, for sure. It's strange because that chapter of my life is definitely closed now. I was actually meant to uh, return to the Edinburgh International Book Festival. I'd done that the last two years. So I was meant to go back there and that didn't happen. And um, in my mind, I was like, well, the book fest, there are loads of people there and I can network all day, every day, and I'll just be able to find something or that will lead to something else. And from the book, ending the book festival stint I did last year, there was a lot of people around me that were like, Rosie, you would be perfect for this or you should come and do this next or have you ever thought about doing this? And I had to just say no to it all because I was still a student. And I was kind of naive and thought, you know, maybe something like that will happen again. Uh, but I did know a lot of the people at Bookfest were either from Glasgow or did a lot of work in Glasgow. And I thought Glasgow would be a good fit because it would be close to all of that stuff. Um, it was quite impulsive. Um, when I was at home, I was aware of the risks of COVID and I didn't want to put my parents at risk at all. Like every time I went out with my friends, there was a little seed of guilt in me, like, oh God, I hope I don't bring anything home. Um, which I think probably I'm not the only person. And I was also craving a bit more independence. Uh, a few of my friends had uh, signed up to do masters in Glasgow and I just decided to move in with them. One of them has actually got a graduate position, but I am a part-time tutor in Glasgow, something I've carried on since I was a student, but it's not a lot right now and I'm applying and getting a lot of rejections, um, but I know I'm not alone in that right now. Yeah, I, th I think there's definitely been times where I've been a bit, you know, what, what am I actually doing? Um, or a bit worried about what is in store, what's next. It can feel sort of uh, empty when you're trying to explain an idea of something that you might like want to do and you're trying to apply to things that are near it and it seems very woolly and very unstable. I um, think you have to stay positive because if you don't, like, but the thing is, I know for sure I really don't want to be in a job where, like, I, I, I couldn't see myself in, you know, or a lot of people have said, like, why don't you go into teaching, but I don't want to be a teacher. <laughs> like, I'm maybe a bit stubborn. Um, there's a lot of pressure. Um, I think me and my friends actually speak about this quite a lot like it's almost like a race or something that once you're out of uni you have to be 
uh, succeeding kind of the second you're out the door. Um, but in reality, we're all really, really young still. Like, we don't know anything at all. And when you, it's not really a competition. It's definitely unknown territory, but you can't compare yourself to other people. I think that's really important. And I've, you sort of have to remind yourself not to compare yourself to your other fellow graduates who are all doing lots of different things. I think if I could swap places with one of my pals who's got a graduate scheme, I still wouldn't because I don't want to do what they're doing. So, I d yeah, I guess that's the, the comfort in it. Um, even though there is a bit of a lack of security and I don't really know what the future holds and I don't know what's next. Um, I think I'm just sort of determined to land on my feet somehow. We also ask our graduates to share a place, somewhere special, somewhere we can get together when all this is finished. Uh, my friends and I just call it the bench. It's on the Royal D side line in Aberdeen. It's an old railway line which was paved over and is now a really popular cycling path slash walking path, dog walking area. And it's just because it's on a old train tracks, you can still see the platform at either side. Uh, along this railway line, there's a bench which looks out across the valley where I live. There's a river down at the bottom that you can see. There's a golf course and a park and houses and like cows in the fields way in the distance. And it just kind of looks out over everything. And it's so popular, this bench, that they actually added another bench and that next to it. <laughs> and then this bench was also so popular, they added another bench. So there's these three benches, which are all about a few meters apart, and they all share this one view and all the benches are really different the one in the middle is all like scrappy and ugly and the one just to the left of it is definitely older but not as grim and the new one is like pristine um but me and my friends and me and my family have sat there i've gone there alone and just had a sit um i've been there like in the middle of the night <laughs> after house parties when i was like 16 and it was just sort of like the place you would go to sit and have a chat because there's only so many benches on this railway line. Um, and yeah, I feel like I've got a lot of memories there with a lot of different people and just with myself. And even now, every time I go home, I'm, I'm always at the bench at some point. And it's almost notorious in a way because if I am meeting someone, if I ask my friends to meet at the bench, it's not like, what bench? When the whole of the town it's like you know exactly what bench I mean even though there's actually three of them now um but yeah I would definitely say that is a very special place and kind of I associate it a lot with home thank you for listening join us next time for another graduate and another story Wherever you are with planning for your future, the Careers Service is here to support you. As a recent graduate, you can continue to use all of our services, including full access to My Career Hub, online appointments with our careers consultants, our full calendar of employer events, and support with the application process. Find out more at ed.ac.uk forward slash careers.